2023-27, ladies and gentlemen, is an instrument that we will use as a whole of government to deliver on the aspirations that the people of Kenya expect of all of us. I want to urge every member of the executive, members of the legislature, friends in the judiciary, to work collaboratively, to work together, build synergy, to make sure that we deliver on this plan, knowing very well that all of us are serving the Kenyan people together. The fourth medium term plan, therefore, ladies and gentlemen, 2023-2027, is now officially launched. And I thank you. I am very clear in my mind that we have what it takes to take Kenya to the next level. We have the requisite resources, if properly applied, if properly used with integrity, to move our country to the next level. What we witness every time, in some instances, corruption is budgeted into our budget cycle. People budget things that they know will not go to the people of Kenya. I will be spending time tomorrow with our treasury to make sure that with a tooth comb we eliminate anything that will not go to benefit the people of Kenya in our budget. And that our budget is going to be an instrument for the delivery of our plan for the benefit of the people of Kenya and to provide inclusive growth. The tragedy that we have is that even those who go and challenge government policy in our courts, you cannot believe it, that after they have obtained stays and they have obtained injunctions against government policy, whether it is housing, whether it is our uh, universal health coverage plan, they have the audacity, they have the temerity to come and look for government officials and tell them, if you talk to us nicely, we are going to remove the injunction. I mean, what level of impunity is that? And that is why it is our commitment that we need to enhance the office of the Attorney General, Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, Office of the uh, Ethics and Anti-Corruption Authority, and the DCI to make sure that we have the requisite capacities to protect the resources and the finances of the people of Kenya. It became imperative to ensure that the MTP4, together with the county integrated development plans, are aligned to the bottom-up economic transformation agenda objectives and priorities. Therefore, the fourth medium-term plan has translated the strategic objectives set out in our agenda into concrete programs and projects to be implemented in the plan period. Just to remind everybody here that the better plan, we not only have an agenda, but we also have a plan combined into one program. Calls for investments in five core strategic pillars, agriculture, healthcare, housing and settlement, micro, small and medium enterprise economy, and the digital superhighway, including the creative economy.